The Southwest Michigan man named one of the FBI's most wanted is back on Michigan soil to face charges that he killed two people. The first degree murder charges carry a life prison term, but it doesn't appear that suspect Antoine Mims is taking things too seriously. No, 24 hour news hates Leon Hendricks live from the newsroom with more on his arrival today, Leon. Brian and Marley, good evening to both of you. Police say Mims is a cold-blooded killer. And today, before news cameras, as he arrived on Michigan soil, he took the opportunity to show out. If police have their way, this will be the last time Antoine Mims ever gets off of an airplane. The accused killer arrested just over a month after he was named one of the FBI's most wanted fugitives. Flanked by police and shackled no bother, Mims notices the cameras and decides to show out. He appears to be doing this dance, the internet sensation known as the Shiggy, In My Feelings, or Kiki Challenge. While Mims seems to get a kick out of the limelight. I thought that was kind of crappy. The police are not laughing. He's taking two people's lives. He's coming out making, you know, funny gestures about it. Um, actually, I was offended for the people of Ben Harbor. I didn't care for that at all. Mims is accused of shooting and killing two men on March 25th, Cortez Lamont Miller and Michael Kentrell Johnson. Police say he shot the men in front of about 100 people. Officers say the killing was brutal. He shot the men, knocking them to the ground, they say, assuring they were dead by shooting each in the head before leaving the scene. It makes you wonder where a person's mindset is to be that cold-blooded. It's just why it's so dangerous. To, to go up and do that in front of all those witnesses uh, is unconscionable. Police called him callous and arrogant. Some might see this video as proof. If convicted, his prison sentence is sure to outlast the Shiggy challenge and his shackled attempt at holding the spotlight. So having him in custody and headed to jail uh, is tremendous. Mims was ultimately captured in Georgia, though the details about how he was captured aren't readily available. At this point, the investigation continues into whether the rumors are true that he may be involved in some other crimes. All of that part of an active investigation that continues now. We are reporting live in the newsroom, Leon Hendricks, 24-hour News 8.